In Genesis chapter 12, we see Abraham was exactly 75 years old when he leaves his father's house. Now it's important to note that although Abraham's father Terah was the first patriarch of the Jewish nation, he worshipped idols and raised his family in the idolatrous city of Haran. So God called Abraham out of his father's wicked house to do three things. Reject his natural inheritance, enter a land that was prepared for him, and go by faith. That sounds a lot like the promise for Christians. In fact, Jesus says if anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. You see, Jesus wasn't saying we should hate our family. Rather, he was being hyperbolic to prove a point that we must reject our natural inheritance in order to enter the land that he has prepared for us, a heavenly land. Jesus also says in John chapter 14 verses 1 through 4, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also, and you know the way to where I'm going. So just like Abraham, we are to reject our natural inheritance and go and live by faith in the hope of our new inheritance in Christ. Now get this, remember Abraham was 75 years old when he was called to his purpose, when he was called to reject his inheritance, to go by faith to a land that was prepared for him. This purpose that points to ours today. Okay, so since he was born in 1948 AM, that means at 75 years old, it was the year 2023 AM, or 2023 years since the beginning of the biblical timeline. That is interesting. If the birth of the nation of Israel mirrored Abraham's birth, could it be that the spiritual nation of Israel, the church, which Paul stated in Romans that we Gentiles who follow Christ are grafted into the nation of Israel, could also be called away to a place prepared for us, and we leave our natural world behind only this time to be caught up together to be with Jesus in the air in the year 2023, the same year that Abraham leaves his natural father's house to go to a place God has prepared for him? Could it be? According to this timeline, the rapture of the church could take place in 2023. Of course, no one knows the day or hour, but scripture does tell us it is the glory of God to conceal things, but the glory of kings is to search things out. Uh -huh.